So I mentioned before that the iMovie library is just the key to the whole nine yards. And it, it is a, a file, it's actually a folder, but it looks like a file, that contains every bit of your media and, entire, and your entire project. It's very handy because you can store this library on an external drive and take it with you and just open it on a, an iMac computer or any computer or Mac computer and you can work on it there. You don't need to, you know, to take your take your computer everywhere. So that's very handy, especially since we're going to assume that since you're going to be using the UF Computer Lab uh, iMacs. So as I said, iMovie Library contains every bit of your project and everything. And that's a really big improvement over previous because you had these different parts and if you misplaced a part, nothing would work. So this is huge. Every time you open iMovie on the lab computer, you're gonna, it's going to look just like this. And that's because every bit of work from the previous user has been erased. It is gone. And that is why we're going to be using uh, iMovie libraries on external drives. So you'll keep all your work safe. Okay, so it defaults to uh, a library. It's on the local hard drive. It also opens an event, and we're going to talk about an event in just a second. So I'm going to drag over the window here for the, that uh, depicts this local hard drive on this iMac. And uh, let's take a look. It's going to be in the Movies folder, and here it is. This is the icon for the iMovie library, and it is here on Movies folder, which is on the local hard drive. Okay. Let's get this back out of the way. Now, this is a one-time thing that you have to do now. You're going to create an iMovie library. Uh, we're not going <laughs> to call it that. We're going to call it something else. But it is uh, defined as an iMovie library. So you only have to do this once. So here we go. We're going to go to File, Open Library, but New. Okay. So we're not going to call it iMovie Library 1. How boring is that? Call it whatever this particular project is called. And I'm going to call mine Fun at the Lake. Just because I like Fun at the Lake. Now we're not going to, we're going to be very careful where we put this. We're not going to put it back on the hard drive of the computer, right? Because that would be not a good idea. <laughs> so I have my external drive already hooked up. It's called the Mighty 6. I'm going to direct it to my external drive, which is right here. And uh, that's all you really have to do. You, you can only go as far down as uh, the drive. So, um, uh, well, I guess you could. I guess you could put it in a folder. It, that would be, I wouldn't do that. I put it on the drive, right on the, not in any other folder, uh, just so things will be found when iMovie's looking for it. So save, and there we go. Now look up here, we have two, and, and it did just uh, what the default did. It opened up an event by default because you can't have a library with, without an event. And we're gonna talk about an event very, very soon. An event is just a container for your media. And here it is uh, right there. It's not designated by anything except a line. So, so what you wanna do right away is part of your workflow. Let's go ahead and close out this iMovie library that's the default because we're trying to help our processors any way we can. Here we go, close I close library, iMovie library, which is the default. And uh, you have to have one, so we have one. This is uh, on our hard drive currently. An event is a container for your media. It's a way to organize things. It is a, like a subfolder of your main folder, which is your library. Here we go. So I'm just going to call this, uh, I'm going to call it, lake video uh, we can uh, we're not committed to that permanently there's you know, the iMovie is very very flexible in, in how it stores your media but you do need an organizational uh, plan or you will be looking for stuff and that's very frustrating and uh, here we go okay so we're going to import some media and there's a couple of ways. There's this right here, or you can do the big giant import, or you can do command I, or you can literally drag it in there too. But we'll we'll talk about that later. Uh, so here we go. Let's do the big one. And um, right, what it did, it went to 
uh, my camera. This is camera. In this case, what I've done is taken out my SDHC card out of the camera, and there's a slot on the bottom right uh, in the back of your iMac as you face it. Bottom right, there's a slot. It's a horizontal slot that receives an SDHC card. And these are the clips on my card. See? So you can screen these just by highlighting, which you're going to get very familiar with this. Highlighting, you'll see a red uh, outline around your clip, and you can just play that, you know, if you want to. And uh, if you want to select it, we're going to select it. Well, let's take, uh, let's play this. Uh, you can't do a select select within the clip. You have to take the whole clip. In this case, it's 17 and a half seconds. So uh, let's import this. I'm going to hit uh, import selected. But I'm going to wait for a second because where do I want to import it? To? These refer to events. We only have one, but we could make another one if we wanted to. We're going to leave it for Lake Video right now, which is this one down here. Uh, and I'm going to make sure that this box that says hide imported is unclicked. And that's because if you go, if you import something, you go back, it, it, you, <laughs> you won't be able to find that. And it's very frustrating. Uh, I would just leave that unclicked. Uh, no question. So I'm gonna, uh, uh, I'm gonna just go ahead and import that. If you'll notice, well, it was so quick we didn't see it. There was a progress clock up there, and you also see a note. It can't show it here, but there's a, a whole message that appears on the top right of your iMac. that says "Import Complete." So that's cool. But let's do some more. Let's uh, let's import here. Well, now this is kind of cool. This FaceTime. <laughs> Uh, watch what happens here. Okay. Well, hello again. Uh, it, you could literally, if you look at this red button down here, you could press this button and record and make a clip of, of you right here. So if you need to do that, that, that is an option. But, but no, we're not, we're not going to do that. <laughs> but I am going to go to my uh, desktop here. And I'm going to get some media that I know is here that I prepared just for this. This is the other place that your media could be. You could you could have copied it on a hard drive uh, for storage, which uh, maybe it's the same hard drive that you're using to uh, run your uh, your library, and that that'd be fine. That's no problem. So I've got some uh, things down here, um, and here's uh, I've got some stills. I'm just clicking on, and you know I can preview those. Uh, there we go. So I'm just going to, uh, uh, let's see, I guess I'm going to take the first four of these. I'm going to click up here and shift click. And there we go. So I'm going to import that. And we lose our window. Uh, let's do it again. And uh, remember, it's going to this event up here. We only have one, but it's very flexible, like I say. Let's get some video. And here's uh, some, some things here that I already have. We can... You know, we can play that. But what I'm going to do is take uh, all of them, uh, and if you wanted to, you know, you could you could take the whole the whole um, uh, folder there, and they all uh, went in there. And then, and finally. Uh, so let's look at what we have in our in our bin here, which is our event, right? It's a container for your media, which is in your main folder called Fun at the Lake, which is in iMovie Library. So here we have all di these two different types of media. We have video. We have stills. You can tell because it's got a little camera icon there. Uh, so we, And then video. We can just uh, click here, you know, play. And... Uh, um, there we go. So I'm, I'm literally just clicking and, and playing up here. But you could click and press the space bar. I'm just pressing it. Press, stop, start, stop. That's the, uh, that's the space bar. There you go. So I'm just like kind of previewing it up here and down here too. There we go. But there's one type of media missing. What is that? Audio, right? Let's go ahead and grab an audio. So we're going to import uh, up here. Or you could do Command-I. So here we go. Here's some audio that I just had. Uh, you can audition this as well, you know, by just uh, playing that right there. Yeah, there we go.
and and so on. So let's uh, let's take a couple of these. Let's take this one, and I'm using the command click so that I can select uh, just three here that are not in sequence. So I'm going to go ahead and port that. Oops, look up there. Whole thing. <laughs> it's trying to sneak in on us. There we go. Okay, now here's our progress bar up here. There we go. It's like a clock. And all of these are that they're not very long clips, so these are quick. It will be much longer with longer clips, as you can imagine. So here we have our three types of media, and we have them in our nice uh, event, which is in our library. Okay, next we're going to see what to do with uh, this media and how to start building our movie.